Hello, party people. <laughs> Look at you all waiting in the chat. Excellent. And we counterintuitively sat here earlier this time. 39 seconds earlier. <laughs> it's an improvement. Yep. Yes. Alison Z says, in response. Yes. Uh, oh boy. It's time travel. Yes. Okay. Anyway, Alison Z says, in response to my question, ready for some recipe fun? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Nice. One. You know, uh, fan of cooking. Definitely. Yeah. Natalie, from London, UK. How are things in London? Yeah. I haven't been to London for many years. Hmm. Actually, well, at least two. More than that for me, I think. Yeah. Let me know how you're getting on. Actually, no, I've been to London a couple of months ago. <laughs> Did you? Oh, no, that was actually a year ago now. I won't hear about this. Wow. <laughs> Probably for the best. Yeah, I thought that that was a couple of months ago. No, that was a work trip, but that was about that was about a year ago now. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Hello from MY. What's MY? MY. Um, Malaysia. I think it's a state. Um, Massachusetts. MY state. Oak. Uh, nope, it's not one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's Malaysia. Wouldn't that be ML? No, that's M Y. Well, hopefully Zach will clarify soon. I just finished my solo project. Brilliant. Yes, that, if you're wondering, is a very special way we have of teaching on Scrimba, which involves having a look at stuff you've learned throughout the module, or in some cases on a course, mm -hmm. and then throwing you in at the deep end with no life rough. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> just, just like in real life. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Um, you learn everything you need to know to make, whatever it is, and then you have to put it into practice with zero help. Well, I say zero help. You can always join our Discord server yeah. if you do need help. And there's Stack Overflow. <laughs> Hello, Marissa Valencia. Yes, from San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> Very nice. I expect it's significantly warmer here. No, there. Not here. <laughs> mm. Ah, says <laughs> Shiva Ramin. I love you guys, says my mate. Oh. Hello. How are you both? Pretty good. I was thinking about this earlier. Yeah. 6.28 out of 10, I would say. 6.8 out of 10. 28. 28. 6.28 out of 10. Actually, it's a bit higher now. 6.54, I'd say. Okay. What would you say? That's very specific. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's all right. I would say yeah, about six, seven, eight, roughly. <laughs> That's very not specific. <laughs> Hello to the rest of you as well. Oh, it is. Oh, there you go. You were right. Yay! <laughs> Hello. Let me go there. Um. So okay. today. Yeah. So what are we doing today? We're making a dinner generator. Dinner generator. What, what's a dinner generator? Well, it generates dinners. No. Does we, it like uh, cook it? That would be great. That would be great. Um, we always say on Scrimba when people ask us uh, what to put on my portfolio, what projects to build, we say... Um, build something that addresses your own needs. Indeed. I was sick and tired of wondering what to have for dinner every night. <laughs> <laughs> so I did exactly that. Um, I got sick and tired of telling what Michael should throw in the oven to cook. So To defrost from ready meals. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time we had a ready meal? Well, actually a while ago, yeah, but fair enough. So that's what we're going to do. And this is what it Oh, look at that. Like. Yes. I, I approve. I call this person Min, Min, Mr. Fans. <laughs> Who decided this animation? Because I <laughs> I save it as MR, which is his initials, hyphen thumbs, and then it read Mr. Mr. Thumbs. thumbs. So Mr. Thumbs appears across <laughs> many of our assets, and here he is today. This yeah. is what we're going to build. Um, so Look at that. I even have the same haircut on that picture. Because it is you, Mike. <laughs> 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 yes. Um, at the click of this, give Mr. me the Thumbs. DINs button. Right. Uh, at the click of a DINs, you get the DINs. Indeed. For four days, though, not 
<laughs> Why four? Well, because, I mean, we can change it to however many days you want. Okay. But usually, if you wanted to buy ingredients, you can only buy so far in advance, otherwise they go off. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah. 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 And then additionally, there's a shopping, shopping list. list. Beetroot brought beans back with carrots, collie, cauliflower. Cherry tomatoes, Chinese cabbage, courgette, courgette. Ooh, why is it always say courgette, courgette? Well, th this is a, an optimization we could do. Lettuce, manch to, parsnip, quinoa, rice noodles, squash, whole grain pasta. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you can also like say how many things you need. Well, at the moment, this is just just a list of yeah, all of them. As you basically can uh, like pull all the things together. Yes. Okay. Indeed. And to start, mm. um, not much on the CSS front, as you Fair could enough. probably tell. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's my favourite card from it. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> yeah, I don't see what's wrong with it. It's uh, very accessible. Fully responsive. Very fully responsive, dynamic. We okay. just have two paragraphs. Dinners, dinners and shopping lists. Shopping list. okay. Here they and are. And it has a button. <laughs> a button that says give me the tins indeed um nothing in the way well actually there's some stuff in here i've grabbed the two i can see, i can i can tell that the various spellings of dinner is gonna give us a bit of a headache <laughs> <later on. laughs> it might do but we'll we have we'll dins dins uh various other things various other things and i have saved um, oh, you, so basically you pre-populate. I have pre-populated the ingredients. Uh -huh. yes. Protein, carbs, vegetables. Carbs, an array, literally an array of vegetables. Yeah. And um, Four recipes, what does that mean? No, this is, having just said we don't eat ready meals. Ready meals. These are ready meals. <laughs> right. I mean, bibimbap isn't one. I don't know why that's there. Okay, boom bar, yeah, that's definitely not a ready meal you can get in the UK. Well, maybe you can. Oh, no, it's actually it's not takeaway. ready meals. It's, um, the idea is that we pick one protein, one carb, and three veg, or one of these. Right, I see. Good. Hello from Reunion Island. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice. Hello to you. Well, that's really far away. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Thank you for dropping on by. Not to the Mr. Thierry, who, or Mrs. Thierry, who is in the Island. No. No. Let That's us know um, how you would approach this challenge. Yeah, let us know how you would approach this challenge. There are some mm -hmm. to-dos up here. Already save the ingredients in an array. Yeah, just to make it easier. Fair enough. So now I think we should work on selecting random ingredients for a meal. Idea for this is using math dot random dot floor and then selecting random random things. <laughs> random things. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, okay, and then select random ingredients for a meal, and then you have uh, select entire meals alongside random ingredients. Okay, and then generate shopping list from all the required produce. The render results in the DOM. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, now, let me have a think about it. What do we uh, do when you already pick an ingredient? So, for example, I go, whoops, I shouldn't have done that. So I go to like, you know, tofu with wild rice. So I would imagine it's like we're following NHS prescribed um, recipe creation, which is like uh, NHS for those over you outside the UK, it's National Health Service. Yes. Yes. So one carb, one protein, three one, veg. One carb, one protein and three veg. So it's meat <laughs> and two veg. In the fifties, maybe. In the fifties, okay. So it's right. three. <laughs> and three but it should be five, I think. One of your five. Oh, a day. Yeah, five. but that's for the day, not just for dinner. Mm, yeah, true. Okay, I think three is enough. Okay, three veg is enough. Oh wow. Okay, so one from protein, one from carbs. That's fairly easy. But if you just go match up random, there is a chance that you are going to end up with tofu, wild rice, and three avocados. 
<laughs> which some people might be happy with. Some people might be happy with. So what do we do with duplicates? Do we like butter mushrooms, butter mushrooms, butter mushrooms? So you can have like... No, ideally we wouldn't triple have the duplicates. We would not have duplicates. Yes. So you have to remove... But for a first iteration, I think we can... We can have the We duplicates. can get it up and running, and okay. then after that we can deal with duplicates, I think. Okay, so map it through which. Okay, fair enough. Um, so in that case, let's just const play. Uh, well, actually, no, it, it can't be a const, can it? <laughs> Let plate or a uh, plate. Let, let's call it plate. There'll be an empty array. Uh, can I just scroll? There we go. There's a mouse there. Uh, so let plate. Uh, there'll be an empty array. I'll also zoom in a little bit. Uh, and then presumably we're just going to add things to it. Not let dinner, even though everything else is called dinner. <laughs> Although I guess it doesn't have to be dinner. Why only one carb, one protein, and three bread, veg? I mean, you can make it anything you like. And then she has just... food recommendation, play, play. Basically, our health eat well service guide. tells us to do that. Yeah, there you go. Eat well guide. At least five portions of a variety of fruit vegetables a day. Okay. Base meals, potatoes, and then protein. And then there is some dairy alternative products. So basically, there is this picture for it. That's what we got told to do. Right, back to the code. Yeah, there's basically a picture. You see, like, this is a third veg, third carbs, and then the rest of it. <laughs> Back to the code. Anyway. Hello to you, Lash. Good to see you here again. How are you? Um, okay, so what is it? Protein. We've got to do the old math dot floor and stuff, haven't we? Yeah, I do remember. I can never remember how to actually write it. I think I actually can. Math dot floor and then open the bracket. Okay. Math dot random. Const. Open that bracket. Uh, I mean, it's easier just to copy paste it, isn't it? Was it math, math, or floor? You know what? I'm actually going to just ask it how Copilot. No. Not currently integrated into Scrimba, but maybe one day there will be Copilot or a similar bot AI thingy. <laughs> oh, that shows good. I'm just going to write a function so because I can't be bothered with the same. So well, math dot what? Math dot floor. Math dot floor. Open math, math dot random. Open times um whatever you want. So as will be name of array dot length. Uh -huh. Yes. Doesn't work. I think I'm missing a times. What? You need to have math.random close and then multiply it by array.length. I don't know what this is going to do, but it's not what we want. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. math.random generates a number between uh, zero and one. Uh... There you go. Um, Adrilizis. It returns a number between zero and one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so math at random. Oh, there you go. Pseudo random number between zero and one. Uh, we always had these problems in Scrimba. I think so. Maybe not. <laughs> Greater I find out something. Integer every day about less this. than or equal its numeric argument. I don't uh, think we've always had that. And then <laughs> times array dot length, and then. Random, I'm just going to say, call it random ingredient, and that will be, and I'll just access it from there. What's that doing? So I created a function that called random ingredient, and I pass it the list of ingredients. Right. Ingredients. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, ingredients. So basically, and then I just pick a random ingredient from it. All right, so hopefully. So how is it going to know which of the arrays to look at then? Because I'm passing it to it. So I'm just going to say random ingredient from. Oh, proteins. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Console Let's log. Let's give that a go. Um, Console.log rand protein. Okay. in shopping list is not defined. That's further up. Um, you can comment out the line probably. Oh yeah, but this code doesn't run, right? No. That too. I know, it should run. Why? Uh, well, because once JavaScript is loaded, it's trying, it's gonna try to do it, no? You still need to call the function though. This is the one it doesn't know about because uh, we haven't okay. written it yet. Okay, well, let's create it. Function. Generate shopping list, which will later on tell us which things to buy. Adelizzi says, nice function. I think so too. <laughs> okay, so we'll just create that there, right? Smoked haddock. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, <you get> that. <laughs> so can you run us through what's happening with this then? Right, so I have a function that basically accepts uh, an array and then picks a random element from that array. Okay. Right. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I just call random protein and then I can also do the same basically for random carb um, uh, pass carbs into it and then round page one it's got to have cons now yes basically get the gist so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write it straight into the array, right? Because what's the point? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to write it straight into an array. So you don't actually need to declare it as a variable then? Uh, yeah, because, well, you know, I'm just going to initialize those variables and then push them into an array. So I might as well just initialize the array with uh, those edge. I think we're going to need them in two different places, though. That's all right. We'll extract it then. Uh, Sounds good. So, yeah, okay. veg, veg, veg. <laughs> and now I'll just see what's up with the plate. And I guess we had a oh, wow. weed, seaweed, squash, and bell pepper. Actually, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> it does. Oh, I, I <laughs> thought it would be like something awful, awful, awful. And um, something pretty nice. But actually, that sounds pretty good. Oh no. I forgot something. Yes. Two things. Right. But I forgot one thing. Okay. But the other thing is Stanley says writing straight in an array is a good idea. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. The thing I forgot was our weekly poll. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, no way. You, yeah. Oh, no. If oh, no. you are new here, please put a bunny rabbit into the chat. <laughs> if you've been before, hit me with that tiger. We don't use this information. It's just for fun. Yes. <laughs> okay. As a disease. Make the veg an array. And when you randomly choose a veg, check if it already exists. Yes, because we don't want, well, you don't want three cauliflowers on one dish, that's for sure. Ugh. <laughs> one is too many. Yeah. Yeah, I, can, I suppose you can do that. Uh, oh, I see what you mean. So, I am wondering if you can 
Well, anyway, yeah, uh, I, we can, let's just leave a comment saying, can end up with three of the same veg. I guess the chances of that are tiny. Two of the same, it's more possible. Yeah, um, anyway, but I suppose like, let's let's just get the whole thing rolling and then we can optimize it. Cause there are, yeah. you know, the features of this are endless, like, uh, you know, exclude the ingredients that you don't like, uh, weigh some ingredients better, like offer only fish on a Friday. Um, you know, <laughs> Sunday has to be beef or something like that, you know, like roasts things or like you know maybe you don't eat meat so exclude all the meat from offers definitely yeah so. there we go all these tigers coming into the chat Ooh, yes. nice. <laughs> anyway uh so now that plates uh so we have what's that the generate they say generate shopping list but it's not really a shopping list as such as it it's just generate well, it, it, yeah, it's generate. an ingredients list. You might already have everything in your fridge. Generate everything. Let's just call it like that. It'll just be called generate everything. Well. <laughs> yes. It's not generating everything. <laughs> uh, so we have plate. Okay, we have our plate. So we need what? We need to get these things out, I think with a triple dot thing. What do you mean? Array destructuring, is it? What, what are you trying to do? What we need to do is all of these, well, actually, no, not all of them. The, the plate array. Right. We need to get all the ingredients out, don't we? Yeah, but we need, what, four of them? What are you actually doing at the moment? Well, I don't know. What were we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next on the list? Anyway, select random greens for a meal. I think that's done. Yeah, let, let's just I check think out. so too. Uh, add and select entire meals alongside random ingredients. Okay, so... Um, Here's a poll. When we have a to-do list of household chores or anything, I like to cross them off or tick them off if they're on the computer. Michael likes to delete them. But the reason I like to cross them off is that you then see all of the things you've done. So which do you prefer? Let um, us know. Cross off. Yeah. Hang on. I think I just have to write it. I can't think of suitable emojis, which would make sense. Or delete. Done to do's. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think deleting it is better because now it's like you're back to a fresh, clean slate. I can see that, but then you also feel like you've been doing a load of work, but you've got nothing to show for it. Yeah, but I don't <laughs> need to, you know, <laughs> I don't need to report to myself. I, I've just done it. <laughs> yeah. I actually use both methods. Look, in Todoist, they disappear once you've done them, and then you get Todoist zero, which is nice. In Asana, they go kind of grey when you see all the ones you've done, which is also nice. Mm. Delete them, says Stanley. Ew. There you go. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, select entire meals. So, I suppose what we can do is the way we have plate, right? I would imagine that we can have, but for example, we can have let dinner. Uh, dinners equals, you know, you basically have like plate one, plate two, and so on. Right. right. So, How are you going to differentiate them? So I would imagine what you can do is do the same thing. Op function, create meal. Um, create meal from and then you just basically pass in you basically just say yunk <laughs> and you return the array like that oh, 
tonight. Yeah. So you can say, here's my proteins, here's my carbs, yeah. my veg. To create meal from proteins, carbs, and veg, you do that. Four times. Well, yeah, I suppose what you can do here is then have a loop and a variable that tells you how many you want. But because um, we have four, so I'll just hard code in four. But I would imagine that, yeah, you would want to have it as a variable loop. And then you can have an input with how many dinners you yeah, want. Yeah, how many dinners you want to generate, generate and the rest of it. Yeah. And now, so that should uh, give me an array of arrays. Yeah. And then, there you go. Big tomatoes and the rest of it. <laughs> okay. Big, big tomatoes. Did you really not have the ingredients? Are there small tomatoes? There's cherry tons. Really? Huh. Next to them. All right. Okay. Fair enough. So you have a meal with two types of tomato, but I think that's a good thing. Yeah. Although the next meal has big toms and then more big toms. Yeah. <laughs> Which anyway. goes back to what Abdul Aziz was saying. Right. Yeah. But you know, we, we can we can fix that. Anyway. So <laughs> the next one: chicken Kiev and noodles <laughs> <laughs> with more tomatoes. <laughs> and seaweed. I, I, I would imagine I will be skipping this dinner. You do get some interesting combinations that you wouldn't have thought of. Beans, basmati rice, corn, <laughs> carrots, and more corn. Do we need to pass the array to the function? Uh, what array? The one that contains all the meals, I think. The generate everything function. Yes, we will do. Uh, I don't think so, because it's like in the global scope. So these are like uh, global variables of ingredients. So you don't need to pass them in. No, I think Abdulaziz means the array with all the meals in. The array of arrays. This? So, yeah, you do pass in. On the other hand, I think it might... Uh, I think because this is a global variable, I think if you do this, it should still work. Even though it's a bit less explicit, but I think it should still work. What? Really? Because it, yeah, because it's a global variable, so you should have access to it from everywhere. What's a global variable? Um, these uh, yeah, well, these right. arrays. So these arrays are all. So I think it should still work. Yeah. So Why? Well, yeah, it still works. I, I don't particularly like it because it makes it a bit it's hard more... to read. It makes it a little bit more magical, and also at some point you might want to, for example, get this from some database or something else, or I don't know. So there is such a thing as being too clever with code. Uh, okay, so there we go. Um, All right. Okay. Moving on. And now, uh, what we can do is uh, const shopping list equals. Uh, Create shopping list for okay, there you go. In this, and now let's console log shopping list. Okay, okay, we don't have a variable cook shopping list, do we? Okay, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Never mind. <laughs> Shopping right. list four. Uh, dinners. And now, basically, what we can do is a very straightforward return an array where you have, is it something like that? Like a. Yeah. You spread all the dinners. And I think that <laughs> might... <laughs> Sounds messy. Oh. Uh, no. Maybe so, that's what we want. <laughs> no, I think what you want is... 
so for no, const ah, uh, you basically want to loop over every single one of them, and then you want to flat it, flatten it out, so you can do a loop where you spread it all out. What's it actually doing at the moment then? Uh, that's just doing the same thing. It seems to be. No, it's just just copies it over. So if you do that, ah, right, right, it just okay. copies it over. Right. Yeah. So. Um... Mm -hmm. I have let list equals that, and then business dot. I have got for each. Yes, I never use for each. What do you use? Just a for loop. Everyone always says, "Oh yeah, we can use a for each," and I'm like, "We could." <laughs> 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 Fair enough. Um, so dinner's for each. Uh, dinner. Dinner, and then what I want to do is I'll just go. Uh, list equals, but have whatever you already have, plus spread the dinner into it. Right. Aren't you then going to end up with each time you go around it, it's going to re add what you already have? Oh, it could be. Well, let's try it. Actually, you're right. I want to just spread the dinner into it. <laughs> <laughs> right, no? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure. I no, think I think you that... might have another console log somewhere, no? Uh, yes. So what I will do is... Dinners. Like that. And then I'll have mm, yes. shopping list. Like that. Good plan. Okay, so shopping list. Beans, Balga, wheat. Okay, so that's it's... just one of them. Yeah, so I think yeah, that that's the last one. What controller? I think I do want to do that. I think I do want to copy previous did that do it? Shopping list, cod, homemade chips, munch to you, broccoli, parsnip, veg meatballs. Yeah, there you go. See, so. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, what next? But I don't really want to do that. Right? <laughs> yeah, because you have broccoli and then you have another broccoli. So we can sort them. I guess you can, but how do you, uh, there was like, well, we want to remove the duplicates, but we don't want to just remove the duplicates. We also want to count how many of them. Well, that's uh, two different things though, because the duplicate is at the meal level. Because you can have two broccolis over the week, but not in one meal. So we right. need to remove the duplicates in, in the meal. Yeah, so I think, um, and then we just want to count the ones um, in the shopping list level. Ingredients and then red shopping list equal. Um... News filter, so it's after Liz Eats. I think I want to. Sounds good. I think I want to reduce because the filter will just filter those items out, but I also but I actually need to count them. I think I don't know means use filter to get rid of the duplicates, no? Yeah, but I don't want to do that. Because I need those for example, if when I go to the shop, I want to know how many broccolis I need to buy. Because there's a broccoli yes, for Yes, but I think Abdul Aziz means at the meal level to prevent the duplicates, use filter. 
So you filter the array for the one you've already selected. At the meal level, what do you mean? Oh, when you're creating the stuff? Yeah. Ah, so like when you generate an ingredient, filter it out. Yes. 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 Hi, Anna Michael. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> I hope right. you are too. Thank you for coming. Oh, wow. What's all this? Akka? I think that's just... Or is it? Oh, I can never remember how to actually do that. So, um, let us know. JS reduce count occurrences. There you go. That's what I need. Count to the occurrences, frequency of array elements. Perfect. So there is some handy. You can use object object to hold the results. Um, Can't number array. Right. Uh, counts. Uh huh. Yes. So I think that's actually what I need. Thank you. Let us know if you're watching the World Cup. We are not. It's <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, in winter. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. Although I guess it's not really winter where it's being held. No, but... I mean, it is, but it's not. To be fair, in Qatar, <laughs> there, there's always summer. Seems like it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyway, back to this. Back to this. So, four corns... Penalty on the way, says Ankit. Oh, who thought? Um, so, in that case, my shopping list is this. Counts. I'll keep the... So my array is ingredients. Uh, ingredient. So shopping list ingredient equals uh, counts noun. So that'll be that's all the shopping lists and their ingredients. Are you gonna have to explain what this does in a minute? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I want to do. List is not iterable. Whoops. What does that mean? Oh, because I renamed it. Ah. The danger of renaming things. I cannot read properties of undefined. Reading fish cakes. <laughs> <laughs> I always think people that build things like, I don't know, an app for an automatic cat toilet, do they name the variables like number of poops or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hang on. I needed to initialize the, the, so that would be, that should be an empty object. There you go. Shopping list should be an empty object. Right, so the, the idea is this, uh, shopping list is an empty object. I go for, because uh, I already created a list of ingredients, like flat ingredients. Yep. So I go through every single ingredient in it. And then basically what I do is I'll create an entry that uh, if it's a new entry, it oh. becomes a one, and if it's an entry that already exists, so this means if this entry already exists, if it's true, yeah, uh, then you basically take the number that there is and add one to it. Okay, sounds right. good. So. Okay. Oh, I wow. We're, I think we're onto something here. I think so too. So there you go. We have generated all those dinners. And we have a shopping list where it's chicken, whole green pasta, steak mushroom, Chinese cabbage, bell pepper, fish cakes, wild rice, beetroot, big tomatoes, courgettes, two, two courgettes, look at that. Why could it not read variable fish cakes then? Oh, because I didn't initialize shopping list here in empty object. I had like some, some other stuff there. So it was like uncountry in itself. But why specifically fish cakes? Because it's not like it's the first one on the 
list. Yeah, but it's a regenerated. So every time we call this function, it's always the same. So fish cakes at that point was the first one. Uh, okay. Because when we run this again, hot smoked salmon. Put it in. This hot smoked salmon. That's the first one. Okay. Anyway, so I think I think looking we're looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we're I think we're good now. So basically, what is it? Uh, um, give me dins. That's the button, and basically there is dins element. What is that? Ah, oh, these. <laughs> yeah, it's it's these. So basically, we want to create a list, and then add a shopping list to it. So I would imagine that something like. Um, well, we need to render all the dinners first. With mm, like creating yeah. a paragraph and all the rest of it, I think. Yeah, but I think you can just. Um, how do you? You do it with in a text. Right. Well, you're making a list. You could do. No, this the you already have a list. List. No. Okay, <laughs> that's a shopping yeah, list. As a shopping list, not a list item. Yes, that's confusing. Oh well, that is confusing. Yes. Anyway, yeah, we already have those items, but yeah, let's let's add the dinners. So oh, yes, I let's. Forgot. What is it? Dins L <laughs> with an S. L. Okay, cool. Add. Uh, what's it? In a in a text. Yes. Equals dinners. Okay, yeah, we've got some stuff. But now that's added all of the dinners in one big line. That's all right. <laughs> really, we want a new paragraph for each dinner. I think we need to do it at a different point, not there. Uh -huh. Hello from Georgia. New to Scrimba. Welcome. Welcome. Will this be available to watch in full later? I yes. came late. Yes, it will. Object, object. Okay, so we are adding it there. Okay, cool. So now I just create uh, show in this, right? Yep. Um, I'm saying yes, I don't actually know what it means. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit cool. Show yeah. shopping. Actually, I think that might be the way to go. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. So, should it be actually in a text or should it be in a HTML? Because if you are making it, I think you can just create it and then um, set the inner text with <laughs> inner text. Yeah, but it's not in inner text, is it? This is not. Because this is a list item, for the looks of it. Yeah. So create the list item, and then set that item's text with inner text, and then append it. What? To an inner... I don't. I don't follow. What is it? You need to create a list first of all. Oh, so you can add an HTML element into it as an inner text. No. <laughs> how do you how do you oh. const list equals document dot create element brackets list brackets lee yeah lee. right list dot in a text N no now yeah. you need to do Const ool because all of the ools are inside the list. Ool is unordered list. I can... <laughs> if you want them with numbers, use all. Oh well. Dot create element, yeah, brackets. UL and then ool dot in a text equals however you were going to put in the in of the day. Uh, okay. And then we're going to have to append them. Yeah. Is there an easier way? 
No. Uh, okay. <laughs> it is a drag, but you know, we like draggy things. Hmm, I guess. Okay, so in that case, I'll just. I'm sure you can just get it from Stack Overflow. <laughs> Uh, okay. So I'll just create that as a separate function and see. I mean, we only need to generate the list once. What? Because the list is the container for all of the dinners. Yes. Okay. So const unordered element in a text. Uh, Ah, so, okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. Um, no, it's going to be. I always get it confused which way around it goes. Uh, const. What are you doing? So I need to create many alls for every dinner. Is that right? Yes. So. Um, we can use a for loop, no? More for each, if you're that way inclined. So that would be dinner and for every dinner, I create in a text. Yeah, equals. So how are you going to get the ingredients in there? Uh, right. Will that work? Mm, yeah. I think so. And then, so, do I then just go li dot append child? Yes. Ooh. That should do it? I think so. Show shopping is undefined. Oh. Uh -huh. All right. Sorry. I haven't done that function. That's all right. <laughs> undefined. Create shopping list for dinners. No. Show dinners. Yes. Const li document create element. Um, okay, so I do get the dinners. Yep. I do get individual one. Yeah, and it's iterating through the length of the dinners array. Yeah. So I think it's just the line 68 is the problem. Mm, no. Oh, hang on. Ugh. Hang on. No, no. Oh, yeah, I see. Because I just say in a text equals, but I don't really. What I need to do is I need to take this. Oh, right. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I return a bunch of strings. We need to append, yeah, the. The li needs to be appended to the dinzel, but I'm not sure what the dinzel is. I think it might be a paragraph, in which case we need to change it to a div. Why? Why can't you append it to a paragraph? Oh, because you can't append it to a paragraph. I mean, you can, but I don't think you're supposed to. I don't think you should have a list in a paragraph. That's right. You don't need to convince me to change a paragraph to a div. Yes, but now I think we need. Um... Oh, yeah, sorry. So I still need to. Um... I think what we need to do is this. This, like this. Because this should be a paragraph. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so in that case, uh, I don't want to do oh. show dinners. I just want to say. You need to append lead to ooh, not the other way. Do you? Probably, actually, yes, because unordered list and then list item. Yes, you're right. Yes. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Thank you for that. A bit of zip. Saved our bacon. There you go. Uh, I think I can just go. Yeah. Anyway, we can do the formatting in a little bit. So our pen child, and then I already have here. Denzel. There's a second argument to it, and then basically what I can do. Why? Uh, Denzel dot pen child. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that should no. <laughs> Did I do it right? Show dinners, takes dinners. Yes. Show dinners, takes dinners. Ill dot append child says 66.4 key kg. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. No, the next one. Line 69. Ah. <laughs> Oops. All the append child. Thank you. Ally. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Yay! that is a big relief. <laughs> Tim to half a great. So I would say that instead of this, what we can do is like dinner dot join. Um, uh -huh. Ah, to separate them out, make it look a bit nicer. Like that? I don't remember the syntax that I like, so let's see. You only need one, don't you? What's all that? No, but I want like instead of instead of a comma, I want a comma with a space. Yeah, you just put a space there. And delete the all of these. I don't think so. Well, let's give it a go. Yes. What? Okay. <laughs> Woo! Okay, fair enough. Oh, because they're already an array element, so you're just telling them, like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. After each one. Right, cool. Yeah, okay, nice. Now you get, never mind that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Build it apparently. Yes. Okay, cool. So in that case, also, let's... Get cool. Uh, so we actually have, we might have just enough time to do the same thing for... Um, shopping, show shopping. So that'll be a list L. And now we're just gonna say show shopping into a list L. And there you go, show shopping. Shopping list element. Uh, so we wanted to show list element something like uh like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love the gif. <laughs> the, so it's like an element and then colon how many? Right. The colon's actually already hard coded in the HTML. What? Ah, oh, that's all right, but uh, uh, yeah, so. It should be also an audit list, right? Adil Aziz says, awesome. So, <laughs> ingredient. 
So shopping for each ingredient, I want to have create me a list item and list item in a text. No, we be... don't want to do a list item, do we? Or maybe we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, I was just going to have one long line, but a list would be nice. Then you can have a checkbox. No, we're not going to have a one long line because every shopping is an entry. Yes. Yeah, that sounds good. So, console log ingredient. Shopping, Shopping for each is not a function. Is not a function. Oh, because it's, uh, oh, it's an object. Uh, uh, so, then I hate that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for each for oh, an object. Object uh, methods, I guess. Loop of uh, object. I think it's four off. Oh, you can say object of keys. No. Can I just use a normal for loop? There you go. That's why. Yes. What I need. Come on. For of uh, object object entries. That's what I need. Of object entries and that would be uh, this would be an ingredient. Ingredient. No, uh, can't spell this word now. Uh, that would be num. I was like, was it like number of items you need to buy? What's it called? What's the what's the word for it? What's the term? Quantity. <laughs> Q. Yeah. I don't know, man. Oh, okay. No. 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 Num is fine. Yeah, num is fine. <laughs> uh, so Got in... map. Says new up. New up. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can. You can do the map. That's true. Well, anyway, I really have four off. Oh, I still have shopping for each. <laughs> 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 I still have shopping for each. Okay, cool. Shopping list. Bell, bell, bell. Okay, nice. Awesome. Oh, uh, my word. We have a shopping list. Okay, so in that yes. case. Uh, Excellent. So now I'll just take all of that and I'll remove the all code. So what I want to do is. Keep I want it clean, to, people. Yeah, so I want to create a list item where in a text will be so I'll have ingredients and then I'll have num. Wouldn't we have it the other way around? If I'm handwriting a shopping list, I don't write avocado two. What? You're writing two and then avocado? <laughs> yes. What? No. Why do you choose why would you do that? Because when you speak, you say two avocados. You don't say avocado, two. Touche. <laughs> but what know. does your shopping list look like? Yeah, what does your shopping list look I think I'll probably also want to. Sort it alphabetically. So you need to put something else in that sort to tell it how it's sorting. I think it's by default going to be. Uh, Array prototype sort, MDN. Yeah, it doesn't understand uh, sort. You need to tell it what to sort. No, it says that it's not, it's not a function. Object sort by key. Oh, uh, right. This again. Sort gesture object by key. Yeah, so you want to do that. Mm. Oh no, what? Okay, it looks like it's not as straightforward as I thought it might be. So we won't do it. 
So <laughs> actually, hang on. Can you so actually random. objects? Objects are always unsorted, so it doesn't actually matter. But anyway, shopping is not defined. Ah. There you go. So there you go. Here's, here's the shopping Yay. list. Here's all the dinners, and here's the shopping list. And right on time as well. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my word. Amazing. We're crashing it today. <laughs> really? Miro usually goes for item and then quantity. Really? I've been doing it wrong all this time. Item and then quantity. Yeah. See? Yikes. Maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway. That, that's how you write a shopping list, no? If you would like some more JavaScript fun, head on over to JavaScriptmas on Scrimba. As you can see, this is an advent calendar of code. Nice. Yeah. Every day a new door opens and you get a little coding challenge. Whoa. And this is today's to title case. First write a function that takes in one word and capitalizes the first letter of that word. And I assume you should not use CSS. Yes. I mean, there's nothing to say you shouldn't. <laughs> so, yes, give that a go. If you're interested, oh, link. Oh, I already shared the link. If you're interested in TypeScript, you might want to revisit the channel next week, no, the week after, because I will be joined by Ooh. Scrimba teacher Manav, who will be giving us a 30 minute whistle stop tour of modern Tailwind hacks. Looking forward to that. Tailwind hacks? Yes. Well, I'm, I'm quite <laughs> Brilliant. How, how do you like hack with Tailwind? Yeah. Well, thank you all for coming. It's yes. been delightful. Any closing thoughts? Uh, enjoy your weekend. Always. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you later, everyone. Getting ready with the jar. I did that too early. There we go. Ha, 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 ha.